Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. The first card that we have out is Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. This looks like Page of Cups. Okay. Nine of Pentacles has you in a good spot. When we're in the when we're in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, it feels like we have what we need and we can also sort of like show up how we want to and give what we want to. It's that sort of thing. Eight of Wands looks like you being in this mindset, which Nine of Pentacles is very much like an independent, I can do it, I can figure it out, like it's gonna work. I have the, the intention, I have the energy. It's a card of abundance. If you're in that mind frame, it looks like something is going to be moving very, very quickly with the Eight of Wands. So it feels like because of the state energetically that you're maintaining, that it's making something happen very rapidly. And I'm seeing you move towards the Page of Cups. So this can mean that you're moving towards in the direction of a feeling that you have. It can be like a moment of inspiration as well. It can be a vision, an idea. A connection even. You can feel too that this is helping you get connected with your true emotions as well. Okay, Two of Swords and Judgment. There's something that needs to be done here or something that needs to be figured out. To have judgment, you may need to pay close attention in order to get to the conclusion. It looks like this is going to lead to a conversation. Okay, something something about your feelings and deciding something, but it's more so like looking for clarity is what this feels like. Nine of Pentacles is like, I'm in the spot to be able to do this. Nine of Pentacles is like, I see Nine of Pentacles as being kind of like the opposite of the Five of Pentacles, where the Five of Pentacles is like fear and limitation. Nine of Pentacles is the opposite of that, where it's like, like I'm here, like things are gonna work out. It's like a very optimistic point of view to be in. You don't, you feel very self reliant. You, there's like a high self efficacy here, like just a connection with the things around you. And you also feel like, because Nine of Pentacles is connected with abundance, it's like, I have the resources that I need, or I will have them, and so I'm able to show up. And when I say resources, like, energy counts as a resource for us. So, you come, you come here and you show up, and you're like, okay, I'm in the perfect spot to be doing whatever this is. So your guides are like, we need you to show up here. You show up here and I'm seeing you are immediately like moving very, very quickly. And I feel too like what's not being said is that if you're not in this energy of the nine of pentacles, something may not move as quickly. So like the key to this moving quickly is you being in this like abundance mindset. Which means that you're, at the end of the day, that you're trusting that things are going to be falling into place and that what you need is going to be available to you and you have what you need to get through this. And that you're in the right spot. It's like that sort of thing. So you move quickly into something coming up for you that's connected with the Page of Cups. So this is like, I'm reflecting on a feeling that I'm having, like a notion about something. It feels like getting to the bare bones here with something that you're experiencing feeling wise. And two of Two of Swords can be like needing to decide what you're going to do about that or needing to feel like you're clear on what this means in some way. So it's like emotionally this is going on for me. 
And this feels like a very, like you're in the best spot to accurately interpret what this means for you. And then two of swords is like a decision that needs to be made that's based off of how you feel. So you have to like come ready to do this. You move into a reflection period because a decision needs to be made based off of what you're experiencing. And then also to have to have um, the judgment card, it looks like you, this judgment card in particular, see how this is kind of like a, um, like a transition that this person is going through of liberation here. And that's what, that's what this card is called, liberation. It is the judgment card in a regular tarot deck. Um, but it feels specifically like wanting to make a choice that feels like it's liberating you rather than something that's going to be um, like limiting you. And I'm seeing that this is leading to a conversation that you're gonna have and I'm seeing that first you have to show up once. Some of you may not be wanting to have this conversation, but I'm seeing it be important. With the, or this is something that like, you know that you're gonna do it anyway, but you may not be feeling super enthusiastic about this, but you just have to trust what's going on here. Having us start off with King of Swords here, this means that first and foremost, it's really important for you to show up and say what needs to be said. Also to having King of Cups here, this means that it's also really important for you to not be reactive and for you to be grounded. It's most important for you to communicate what needs to be communicated. And also because King of Cups is next to you, this means that you want to do it in like a calm type of manner. Because you've sort of already like danced with your emotions, you're understanding them. And so you can get your point across in a way where it's like purely about what you're communicating and you're not all over the place. So I'm seeing the delivery be important. But having having this four of cups, there can be there can be something here where you're like maybe not super into this for some reason. Just not feeling the situation. This is your feelings connected with something that you've been working on. So that's also what the conversation is about. It looks like you're going to continue to work on this. It looks too like you've come a long, long way. But you may be at a point where it's feeling challenging to continue. Okay, for some of you, there may be a temptation to sabotage what you have going on, but that's also why judgment is needed here because it looks like there's, there's potential for someone's shadow to get in the way here, but it would be coming from a place of fear. And it looks too like this would sabotage something that you have established and that you've put a lot of work into have established. But we're ending over here with the Seven of Swords. What I feel is that you could possibly feel tempted to make a choice that would come from a disempowered place and that's why it's so important for you to be in this like abundance mindset 
starting off with nine of Pent pentacles because to have us be like nine of pentacles and to end with seven of swords this means that if you go along with this like shadow temptation of yours that you would be like sabotaging your abundance and like that part of you that that is like getting things done and showing up and doing all of that and feeling independent that feels like a big part of this too that part of you that just knows that you can be self-reliant and that you are effective that part of you that believes in yourself as well and also the part of you that you get to enjoy the things that you've put in the effort for too so staying here and being mindful not to sabotage that is important but it feels like it would be sabotaged out of a poverty mindset are you being scared about something are you not believing in yourself it's something like that because i'm seeing five of pentacles be on the bottom of the deck when seven of swords came out so this is like your shadow coming through and trying to like scare you into doing something don't do it and i'm seeing this has to do with with like a conversation or like something that you're communicating or something having to do with your throat chakra So that's why I'm seeing judgment is here because it's about it's about making sure that however this is that you're using your throat chakra it's going to support the energy of the nine of pentacles rather than the fear of the shadow. So it's something that's going to continue supporting things being in this way that you like them to be. And you feeling like you're in a spot that you like being in. Supporting and knowing that you're going to stay within that and not do something out of fear. But I'm seeing that be like a real big thing here. But it feels more so like your guides just communicating this. So you don't... So like the shadow doesn't trick you because the shadow can be very very sneaky when it's like it tells you stuff that it starts getting confusing and you're like well part of it it sounds logical to me so should i do it and the shadow does have its own logic but it's a fear logic and so it's something to be mindful of when you're making choices that you're making because if you're making choices it's like you're you're shifting down you're like downgrading to the frequency of fear and so it means that more things are going to manifest that are connected with that. So it feels very much like, like something that you are going to be like communicating or expressing in some way. You have the opportunity to do, do something that's motivated by fear or you have the opportunity to sort of like manage what's going on emotionally for you and like keep yourself where you are because I'm seeing you be in a good spot it just feels like it's about maintaining that frequency currently and it seems too like this is also about recognizing how the shadow had been influencing you because I'm seeing too like a choice that needs to be made about something here it's like something that's established within your life a choice needs to be made about it and I'm seeing your guides be like recognize how like the fear is communicating with you about this and now that you can recognize that you have the choice of like how you do this are you going to do it in a way where you're like it's going to work my needs are going to be met um I can do this I trust myself like that sort of thing or are you going to make a choice out of fear and you you like limiting yourself in some way and that's what this is coming down to All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.